All right, welcome to another painting tutorial. Uh, this one's I'm going to show a little bit of a conversion as well. So I've got uh, three kilocans here, and this is going to round out um, well with these plus these converted sentinels. I'm going to round out my uh, nine kilocan army list, uh, so a can wall, and they've all got rockets. So these guys in the back are obviously converted sentinels with little Gretchen drivers in them, and it's going to count as regular cans. So the paints that I used, uh, in general, the metal was all done with bolt gun metal, uh, washed with bad ad black and a devil on mud. The red was base coated with scab red, given a bow red wash, and then highlight with blood red. Some of the orange was uh, base coated with uh, the solar orange, highlighted with yellow, and then given a bow red wash just to bring it down a little. The blue on the uh, death skull can, uh, sentinels, I guess, uh, was done with Mordian blue, and then it was given a black wash, uh, sort of the whole thing, and an enchanted blue highlight, a bit of space wolf gray edge highlights. The uh, goblin drivers, sorry, goblin Gretchen drivers were given a grace, uh, Gretchen green and base coat, and then some Thacker green. I didn't do a lot of detail on them because you can't really see them, and uh, I was in a rush to get these guys done. Um, some bleached bone on some of the horns, and uh, denim stone was the base color for the white-ish uh, looking things on the. Uh, Death Skull ones. So here's uh, how I all started out. Uh, so I've got everything base coated black. Um, I did the ba bases uh, ahead of time so I had to just paint those. Wouldn't have to worry about basing the, that later and getting paint and stuff on anything. So uh, first thing I did was I went over everything with a heavy dry brush of um, bolt gun metal and uh, so covered everything up as much as I could just to kind of give it a, a base and then I'm going to color the other colors uh, later I haven't really decided what I'm going to do. Uh, then I went around with a uh, Reaper Rust Brown and I kind of stippled everything a little bit getting uh, rust kind of here there and everywhere uh, so it's just dulling up the uh, the silver bits and uh, here's my whole pile of stuff so I actually did a couple extra missile launchers that one's like a I think it's a Havoc launcher from the uh, from Chaos Vehicles that's going to be one of my rockets um, as well I've got uh, the Hunter Killer missile I'm going to use for one because so, I had to make two more rockets for my other set of three killer cans. I only had one set of rockets there. Anyways, um, and there's a couple of metal ones in there from uh, from the old killer can sets or the rocket sets you can buy from GW Bits. So uh, now I'm base coating the red on there. So that's the scab red kind of going on all the flat areas. And uh, actually that also has a uh, devil and mud wash. So what I did is I base coated the red, and then I gave everything a, a wash of Devil and Mud, and then it's also going to get a wash of Badab Black on the metal areas. And uh, so the Devil and Mud will act as a shade for the red, and it also works well on the, the black. There's that Hunter Killer Missile. And uh, yeah, so just working over things fast. Uh, Mordiam Blue is the base coat here. And uh, this is all going to get that same wash. So the blue will get the black wash as well. Um, but I'll kind of avoid the, I'll avoid the uh, the blue with the devil and mud. But the areas I'm going to leave for white, they'll get the devil and mud. So I, each one of these I kind of picked a different set of uh, bits to paint blue, just so they'd look a little bit different. And uh, okay, so now after the washes, um, I've put on uh, this is uh, blood red, GW blood red, sort of painting on everything except for the crevices. So trying to avoid those areas. This is going on really quick. Um, painting this up really fast, uh, which still took quite a while because there's six of them, and there's lots more to these guys. There you can see that's the, the uh, solar orange, Mechera's solar orange. I've also got some um, scorched brown on these uh, the horns here, and that's going to get highlighted with bleach bone. And I've also done the bases at this point here with scorched brown. So uh, these ones here have been highlighted with the red. Um, I still need to work on the orange bits. They all had a little bit of orange. And uh, okay, so now what I've got here, this is the um, Denob Stone base coat. And uh, it looks like it might even have been washed and then redone with Denob Stone. I think that's the, so Denob Stone, then uh, Bata, sorry, Devil and Mud, then Devil and uh, Denob Stone again on top of that. So just uh, working up the highlights there. And you can see these are some of the glyph plates um, just from the Orc vehicle kits, and these are just pieces of plastic card that I just chopped up and glued on there. Um, I originally got this idea from uh, 
a blog that I saw. I forget what the guy's name was, but if I can think of it, I'll put it on my my blog. Um, I'll I'll link to him. Uh, so it's the Kadayan Kadayan uh, driver there with the, the the human arms, and I just put Gretchen heads on there. That's all I did for those guys. I figured you wouldn't really see them. Uh, this is the, uh, the yellow there working up to the edges, and I'll give that a nice red wash to help uh, bring it back down again. And I put a bit of yellow orangey on the, that. Actually, I'm going to go back later and paint all these hoses orange and then give them a wash as well. Um, but I haven't done that yet. So here we are now getting close. Um, for these these ones here anyways, the, uh, the, the Death Skull ones are going to be done um, a little bit later. So uh, now I'm working my way up here with some of the, the browns. So I base coated it with, sca with the Scorch Brown then dry brushed it with Be Still Brown, and then I think I used a bit of Scorched Earth, and then uh, Bleached Bone at the very, no, sorry, I already said Scorched Earth. Um, desert Orange, I believe it was, or Desert Yellow, Desert Yellow, that's what it is. And then Bleached Bone on the very, uh, for edge highlights. Um, so just showing you there, some of these bits had tin bits on them, and they're gonna get a Hawk Turquoise and uh, Dark Angel Green Wash. There's uh, some layers of bleach bone going on there, up there as well. And there's there's that wash. Um, I actually, now that I think about it, didn't use the GW version. The GW would be Hawk Turquoise mixed with Dark Angel Green. Um, if you're using Reaper paints, then Clouded Sea uh, is one of the ones I like to use. So one of the the teal you, uh, blues, you know, sort of green 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 blue kind of color. You just water it down and paint it on like a wash. And you can see there, that's how it kind of flows in the cracks. And uh, then I'm going to go over that with a dwarf bronze. So there you go. And that's that those orange hoses, and they're going to kind of go back to almost a red with that bow red wash. And now I'm putting, uh, so this is um, dwarf bronze on there, uh, just on the raised up areas, so it looks like it's been worn off, all the, uh, the uh, corrosion there. You can see, so that's... That's how you end up with that kind of a look. It's just you know kind of a wash with this uh, blue green, and then you build up the highlights again, just away from there. And uh, the dwarf bronze is used because it's not quite as bright as the gold. And it's you're kind of going for bronze look anyways. So uh, now what I'm doing here is I'm kind of stippling slash dry brushing on some uh, chain mail. Um, bolt gun metal will work as well. Just to try to bring out the the, the areas that would have been the rust would have been worn off. Oops, that slipped in there, working on that as well. Okay, okay, back to the finish now. Um, so I, I highlighted up these uh, these blue bits with uh, enchanted blue and then a bit of Space Wolf's gray and uh, added a bit of uh, other colors. So some of the hoses got a bit of orange, but you can't really see that. So uh, going around the, the circle here, so some of these bits I should mention how I made these. That's just leftover pieces from um, Def Coptas that I had chopped up to make war buggies. And uh, so I magnetized the base in there. Um, so that's the, the part that holds the propeller. And then this kind of is the part of the hull that goes up to the propeller. And then I just attached on some of the extra Killican arms to the end there. So you can see that's part of the Def Copter there. And so is that. Other than that, there's not really a lot of uh, difference to these Sentinels from the stock ones. Um, these are rockets from uh, the, the metal, actually all three of these. So if you buy the upgrade kit or the uh, the bits pack from GW, that you can end up with that one, that one, and one other that I've mounted on a truck that I haven't finished yet. And then uh, these bases, um, nothing too special there, just bits from the bits box. Now here's the, the red Killican, so these are just as from the kit, and I've magnetized these arms here. So this is the Hunter Killer missile, I think it's from the Lehman Rust kit. This is from the can kit, and this is a metal one from the old cans. And uh, I also used a uh, Hunter Killer missile from, uh, I think it's the Rhino kit, or maybe it's a Razorback kit, I forget. And I also used one of the, uh, the missile launcher from the uh, Chaos kits. So now I've got uh, nine cans all done. Looks like you got a conga line going there. And uh, so there's the sixth I did in this uh, set here. So I did those all in one go. Um, 
by doing the metal all as one kind of big batch, it made things go quite fast. And uh, there's all nine of my cans. So these ones here I've done previously, and you can see there's the, the same missile launcher as that one. There's that Havoc launcher. I think it's Havoc. And there's the other Hunter Killer one. So there's my nine cans and uh, all ready to go with a big foot slogging army with lots of custom force fields. I'm actually working on a uh, kit bashed mech, big mech with a custom force field, and I'll be doing a tutorial of that later at some point. Uh, just check my blog for some work in progress pictures, um, and eventually there'll be a video showing how I did that as well as some painting. Hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, check my blog. It's like watching paintdry.blogspot.com. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see or if you have any questions or comments. See you next time.